Exoskeletons can improve human mobility, but developing exoskeleton controllers requires lengthy human tests and handcrafted control laws. We developed a learning and simulation method that leverages data-driven and physics-informed reinforcement learning to obtain a controller purely from the simulation. Our method consisted of three neural networks, namely motion imitation, muscle coordination, and exoskeleton control networks, which were trained simultaneously in a closed-loop manner. To facilitate deployment on a physical robot, our train controller only requires one sensor per leg and can be implemented on a portable microcontroller. Our controller only needed to be trained once for eight hours in the simulation. During this learning process, it gradually learned to generate effective assistance to assist humans with three activities. Our method also simultaneously trained a high-fidelity human musculoskeletal model to simulate the human response to the assistance. This model can faithfully reproduce human kinematics and biomechanics, which facilitated our controller to learn and identify effective control strategies. We evaluated the performance of our train controller for walking, running, and stair climbing at different speeds. Metabolic rate was recorded to quantify the energetic benefits the participants obtained from the assistance. Our train controller substantially reduced energy expenditure by 24.3%, 13.1%, and 15.4% during walking, running, and stair climbing compared with no exoskeleton conditions. This is the largest reduction reported in the literature with any hip exoskeletons or any lower limb exoskeletons, either tethered or portable. Our train controller could also produce smooth and continuous assistance for the three activities and especially their transitions without the need for discrete activity classification or gait phase segmentation. The assistance profile exhibited distinct shapes for each activity, highlighting its ability to adapt to the changing requirements of the wearer automatically. This is the first work in wearable robotics to show that it is feasible to formulate an end-to-end -end controller to synergistically assist multimodal locomotion. We envision that this generalized, simple, and easy-to-use learning method can also be applied to a wide variety of assistive technologies, such as prostheses, to restore mobility of people with disabilities.